How's it going guys? Nate here with Responsible Arm Korean, here with another video, this time to talk to you about the EOTech EXPS3 and the Trijicon MRO. Let's check it out. The Trijicon MRO and the EOTech EXPS3 are two extremely popular optics on the market today brand names of Trijicon and EOTech hold weight when it comes to being able to discern whether or not those optics will hold up under uh, extreme conditions. So you can buy with confidence when it comes to those brands. The MRO has a 2 MOA dot, or approximately 2 inches at 100 yards. It features 50,000 hour battery life on a middle setting of 3. Now I will tell you that 3 is only good really for indoors, so you are going to be running that at probably a 4 or 5 in daylight. So your battery life does go down a little bit, but if you're leaving it on overnight, setting three is, is fine, um, and you can just leave it on. It has an insane amount of battery life. It has a top-mounted adjustment knob uh, with a shutoff between setting two and three. It has two night vision compatible settings and two low light settings, and then four daylight settings. Now the MRO uh, is a relatively lightweight optic. Uh, it weighs in at about seven and a half ounces in the patrol configuration. Now the patrol does have a QD mount, it has lens caps and it has a kill flash, uh, so I assume that the non-patrol model will weigh a little bit less, but uh, the patrol model weighs seven and a half ounces. One of the very apparent things when you're looking at the MRO is the fact that it has a larger objective lens. It looks kind of like a bell. Uh, the front objective lens is 25 millimeters, which compared to most micro red dots, which are 20 millimeter. Now, what does this mean? For the end user, it means that you have a wider field of view, but it also comes with a little bit more parallax, um, it has a slight magnification that you, you probably can't tell the difference, but at the edges of the optic a little bit. Um, if you have astigmatism like me, it does tend to distort the dot a bit more than something like an aim point. Uh, and under magnification, at least for me, I tried two different magnifiers. It didn't seem to work very well. Not for me or for some other people who looked through it. So I'm guessing it has to do with the design of the optic. But if you're not planning on running magnified, you can just run the MRO. They do make one that is meant to be magnified called the MRO HD. Uh, so that is an option if you plan to magnify it. Now again, I'm running the patrol model. This does have a QD mount. It has the lens caps and the kill flash. Now while you can buy these upgrades separately, they are kind of pricey. So if you want all those things anyway, you might as well uh, shell out the cash and get the patrol model. Um, but you can get a basic model that just comes with either a low mount or an absolute co-witness mount uh, for the MRO and you don't have to worry about getting all the fancy upgrades if you don't need them. Now let's go ahead and talk about the EOTech EXPS3. Now the EOTech reticle is a 65 MOA circle with a 1 MOA dot. One of the nice things about this reticle is it can actually be used as a range finder. 65 MOA is about 5 foot 8 at 100 yards, approximately the height of a person. So if you can put the person's head at the top of the ring and their feet at the bottom, they're about 100 yards away. From the dot to the bottom of the ring is the about 200 yards. From the dot to halfway to the ring is 300 yards. And from a dot to a quarter of the distance to the ring is about 400 yards. Now, the other nice thing is if you have the EOTech zeroed at 50 yards, then the bottom of the ring is your holdover at 7 yards. Now, the EOTech has a battery life of 1,000 hours on one CR123 battery. That isn't very high, but it does come with an auto shutoff. If you hit the up button last, you'll have eight hours before it shuts off. If you hit the down button last, it'll have four hours before it shuts off. The EOTech has 20 daylight settings and 10 night vision settings. It also has side mounted buttons uh, for use with a magnifier. Since it's the EXPS3, it has the side mounted buttons. If you're not running a magnifier, there are other models that have the buttons on the back. Now let's talk about weight. The EOTech EXPS3 weighs in at over 11 ounces, so it is a little bit heavier, and especially if you're running a magnifier with it, it is heavier. Now, if you're going for the lightest weight build, you want to take that into consideration that the EOTech may not be the best option for you. Um, if you aren't really concerned about weight or you're okay to sacrifice a few ounces, then the EOTech is a great option. One of the biggest uh, advantages of the EOTech, in my opinion, is the large viewing window. It has an extremely wide field of view, which is really nice when you're running it. Uh, one of the other things is that because it's a holographic sight, uh, it doesn't have to have any reflexive coatings on the glass, so it's a very clear picture. The design of the EOTech also means that it doesn't really mess with my astigmatism, which is really important for me. So if you have astigmatism, I recommend checking out an EOTech because it may not distort for you 
uh, but everyone's eyes is different. But you should check it out before you buy a red dot um, without looking through it. Let's go ahead and talk about the differences between the EOTech EXPS3 and the MRO. Um, now, I'm going to try and keep this mostly objective in terms of what it's like to run these optics uh, because we can get into the nitty gritty of technology and that's not really the point of this video. There are plenty of videos out there talking about red dots versus holographics. Um, if you want to look those up, you should. I, if you find it interesting, it's interesting to see the technology behind these optics. Um, but suffice it for this video, the EOTech is a holographic, the uh, MRO is a reflex. One of the biggest differences, like we talked about, is the reticle, uh, a dot versus a ring and a dot. Um, in terms of speed of picking it up, the ring and dot is faster. Your eyes simply pick up a larger, brighter reticle faster than they do a smaller dot. But some people complain about it being a little bit busy within the viewport. So if you'd like to keep it simple, keep it simple stupid, you can go with the MRO, which just has the basic dot. In terms of batteries, both run off of uh, kind of uncommon batteries, a CR123 for the EOTech EXPS3 uh, and a CR2032 for the MRO. Now, right now, with the way the world is, there you can find batteries. If you're trying to build something for like an end of the world kind of situation, or if you're um, maybe going overseas, if you're a contractor, or if, you, if you're going to be somewhere where you need to have common batteries, then you may want to look at something like the EOTech 512, which takes AA batteries, um, or something like a Comp M4, which is an aim point, takes AA batteries, or a Comp M5, which takes AAA batteries. Magnification. So again, I talked earlier about magnifying both of these optics and that the MRO um, did seem to distort a bit more. Uh, I had two other people look through a magnifier with the MRO in front and they noticed a distortion. Um, the EOTech, however, it looks really good under magnification. So if you are planning on running a magnifier, I do recommend um, looking through the MRO with your magnifier if you can before buying one uh, if you are going to go that route. If you are running a magnifier, though, it's hard to beat the EOTech under magnification. Now, talking about price points, the MRO uh, Patrol comes in at around $650-ish, somewhere in there, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, the EOTech EXPS3 comes in around $670 to $680, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, of course, these are retail prices, um, which so it is pricey. But again, you're, you're paying for a name brand optic. Um, they do offer not, I wouldn't say budget-oriented options, but they're more uh, entry-level options. The MRO without the patrol package, you can find anywhere from $4 to $450. Um, and the EOTech 512 can be had for around $460. Final thoughts on the EOTech and the Trigicon. Guys, just like anything else, when you're reviewing two comparable products in terms of quality, it comes down to advantages and limitations of that product. So if you're trying to build something lightweight and you want to keep it simple uh, and you want something that's going to have a, a high battery life, then something like the MRO is going to be perfect for you. If you would like to have a reticle that's a little bit more versatile, can be used as a rangefinder, and particularly if you're going to be magnifying it or if you have astigmatism, then the EOTech is a great option. Just know that the trade-off is the low battery life and the heavier weight. Guys, when it comes down to it, both the Trigicon and the EOTech are going to be more rugged than you're likely ever going to need them to be. Uh, they're both proven optics with proven manufacturers. One of the reasons why you spend the extra money on a name brand like Aimpoint EOTech or Trigicon is that you can buy with confidence knowing that they are going to be reliable and continue to work even under adverse conditions. So at the end of the day, Look at the advantages and limitations, pick the one that's going to work best for you, and then just get out and train with it because that's the most important part. And try and look cool while you do it because we all know, like Grand Thumb says, that's all that really matters. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and we'll see you for the next one.